y'all. It is time for the much requested big accessories video. Okay, so you all asked me for a long one and you said you'd like to see all these accessories. These were from my birthday haul. Now this bag, I put all the Kellys back in, but I'm not gonna re-show you those. I'm just gonna show you what all the accessories were in the bag. There's two bags of clothing, that one and this one. And then these are mostly shoes, a few purses and other little weird things. So what I'm gonna do, moving the bags out of the way, you know the drill. We're just gonna get on into all these accessories. Okay, I'm gonna do this seven dollar bag first first thing is this looks like a faux fur shawly thing for a fancy doll no tag though but it's pretty next is this little bolero jacket it is really cute but again no tag so on any of this stuff for this long video y'all if you know what line it goes to or who it goes to, like what doll, please, please let me know in the comments. This, I was pretty sure just by looking at it that it was a Prince Eric shirt and it does say Disney. So this one I'm pretty sure on. So if I'm wrong, let me know. Next is this simple little um, tank top. It does say Barbie. It does have a little stain there, but nothing I can't handle, but it does actually have the genuine Barbie tag. So yay for that. Next is this little pleather dress with the silver detailing of beads. And it has these spaghetti strap arms that are clear. Now I looked, I even turned it inside out, no tag, but I think this belongs to a brat. So if I'm wrong, let me know. Next is this little fuzzy wintry kind of jacket. It is really nice. So cute. I'm loving all this stuff. Next is this little blue shirt. No tag on it, but it's made really nice and it has the nice thin Velcro. Really good quality, really soft, really cute separate. I can't wait to find a doll to put that on. Next is this. This is a fur wrap again. Now, does this, y'all, if you've watched my other two videos, um, the one, the Sew and Style doll, does this go to her? Because this is the same exact red color as her outfit and she was super fancy. And I think it goes like that, like a short wrap. Next are these little sparkly nylon tights. Now these I love, even though they're a little dingy, I am pretty positive these are Barbie. The elastic is still good. All I need to do is give them a good oxy bath and I can't wait to find a fancy girl to put these on. Next is this, I believe this is just a simple little veil. I don't know if it's Barbie again because there's no tag. It could be from any doll line, but it's really pretty. I love the sparkle in it and the little dainty lace on the edge. Next is this little skirt type thing, underskirt. I don't know what this is, but it's really pretty. It's really nicely made, but again, no tag. I love the iridescent lace. Yeah, you can kind of tell that it's iridescent. It's really pretty. And I love the pink bow and the material is really, really nice. There's even, I think the hem edging is with sparkle um, thread. So really nice. Next was this. It looks like, you know, a hooded cape thing, but it's all like this at the bottom, like it's ghosty or maybe um, Halloween-y or something. Don't know who this is to or what line this is from, but if you guys know, see there's the little hood part, please let me know. All this stuff is such a mystery to me, but it's so cool. Next is this little skirt with the bow and it's really nicely made. Again, I think this might be for a brat with it having this so tiny, these little leg holes. So if it is, and you know, please let me know. Next piece is this, a little veil piece again. No tag, but it is made very nice and it does have this little detail of silver to like go around the head. Now here, somebody must have had a um, veil obsession or bride doll obsession because there's what, three or four in here? This one looks older, older timey I mean by the styling because this looks like this goes like on the head and this goes like around the neck. You know, like this is more like a hat, this part, if you get my meaning. Next is this little top. No tag again, but pretty decent. Not as nice as that one other one, um, Velcro, but it's the nicer Velcro and clear little straps. Then there's this and it's so small. I wonder if it's like a little um, Kelly skirt or something. I have no idea. It's really, really thin and really small, but it was also in the bag. And then this, another kind of veil type thing. Now I wonder if this goes with this somehow because it's similar with all of the iridescent edging and the 
pink ribbon is exactly the same. So I think these two pieces are meant to go together somehow, but I don't know how. <laughs> okay, I just put these on my hand to show you all of these little weird accessories were down in that bag. There's also this little doggy, thought he was cute, so I'm gonna keep him. There were these two cheapy kind of little bags. I'm probably gonna keep these. I don't know what I'll use them for, but they're kind of cute. Then there was this really nice kind of box. I don't know what I'll use it for again. And this purse that actually has an opening so you can put some stuff in it. It's really fancy. It has sparkles and all kinds of stuff. I wonder if this is my scene. If it is, guys, this one here, the blue one. If it is, please let me know. Okay, I cleared the way for the next bag, this big $10 bag, and we're just gonna get on into this one. First is this little, like, I think this goes to Bratz, even though it's not marked, but it just, you know, their arms slip in like this, and it's like, it looks like a jacket, even though it's just like a little tube. Next is this little purple slip dress. It has some really nice detailing with this like embroidered lace and the little sequins and the edging. Really, really nice. There's no tag at all. And this satin material is actual real satin. I can tell by the feel of it, not that faux fake stuff we're used to. Next are these. And I'm glad they show up navy blue because they look black when you're not under the lights. But I am in love with these. There's if I didn't say there's no tag, I love the gold on the leg and I love like that you can see the stitching. The velvet is pretty nice, not the nicest I've ever felt and it does have pretty decent Velcro at the back. Next is this piece and it's kind of confusing because it's together but it's held together by one of the little like taggies. I don't know if you can see that, see it there? I don't know what this is supposed to be to be honest. <laughs> some kind of wrap, some kind of overskirt, who knows. If y'all know, please let me know. I love the pink though. There's this, and the second I touched it, I knew it was Barbie, and yes, it does have a Barbie tag, but if you can see, this, whatever this is, has stained this tag, like whatever this is made of. If I put it on a doll, I will definitely put something under it to protect the doll, just in case, because you don't want it staining your dolls. But this is really pretty, and I do want to put it on one of my dolls. So we'll see. Here's a funny little wrap with tinsel. This is so cute. I don't know if this is Barbie or Bratz, but I like it. Next is this cute little bucket hat. I love weird accessories. And when I say weird, I mean like things that are not that common. Like you don't always see stuff like this. So I think that's adorable. Next is these with this paisley pattern that feels like velvet. I believe these are Bratz. They are the right size and they're really nice quality. Real jean feels like. This is so cute. Like I said, I love things that are like out of the ordinary and this hat definitely qualifies. Next thing I pulled out was this and it says MGA. So I'm assuming it goes to one of those dolls that I got because I think all of this stuff came from the same person because a lot of the stuff I was missing from those dolls is in these bags. So if it is, please let me know which one it goes to. Next are these retro type jeans. I love these with the little cuff at the bottom. No tag again, I always look and there's no tag. I love that the stitching looks like real jean. Next is this pink ruched deal. I don't know if it's a dress, if it's meant to be a dress, I mean, or if it's a skirt. It has an extra Velcro on the outside to see there's the Velcro to close it, but there's an extra Velcro there. So I am not sure. I looked, no tag, so I don't know what it's for. Guess I'll use it as I see fit, huh? But I love that it's pink. Super cute. Next is this little jacket and it says Spin Master. This is really cute. I love all the details. The only thing I'm not crazy about is that the, I was doing that before to get it to lay down and it doesn't want to. So I might put a little stitch to get it to lay right in this little jacket. So cute. Okay, there's this skirt and this screams my scene. It is so well made and it looks like the cute little skirts that they wear. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but I am in love with this. Again, this piece, I believe, now I believe this more than that maybe because it has the little stay in between is my scene. If it is, all you my scene collectors that have tons of them and know more than me, please let me know. Okay, this I think belongs to like a kid brat or a mini brats because it looks like brats and it's the right size for brats that are that size. Okay, there's this and it's beautifully made, this little over jacket. 
Oh, I love how it's more lilac-y, but it does have a pinky tone, but I love it. I love the edging detail and I love the little polka dots. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, there's this little funny gingerbread looking hat. Now it definitely doesn't go to a Barbie because it's too big, but maybe a Bratz because their heads are bigger. I'm not sure. I love it though, it's super cute. There's this little double ruffle black skirt, really nicely made, almost positive it's Bratz, even though, you know, I told you my knowledge is limited, but like, look at this with the small leg holes and how tiny it is, I would venture to say that definitely has to be Bratz. Next is this little plain skirt. I think this probably goes on like one of the Chelsea dolls. It looks about like those size. There is this little pleather hat and I believe this is Bratz. Like I said, even though it isn't marked, it's bigger. And I think this goes to one of the Rock Angels dolls and I did have some Rock Angels things in that other part of the hall. So this probably goes to that. There's this pink thing and it says Bitty Baby, but I have no idea what it's for. See, it stretches and I don't know, but I love that it's pink. <laughs> There's these two little like belt scarfy things. I think this is meant to be a scarf. I don't know for sure, but it's super cute like those. There's this little hat and I love it. I love the little pink palm at the top. I don't know who or what it goes to, but it is absolutely adorable. There's this plastic hat, which I have no idea what or who it goes to, but it looks really nice. Okay, these two pieces are definitely made out of the exact same material, so I'm assuming they go together. I don't know if it goes to a Bratz or a Barbie or what, but it's super fancy, really, really thick nice glittery material. So if y'all know, like I said a million times already, please let me know. Okay, now, there are two of these. They are different in some aspects, but I think it's because this one is more worn or was more used, so it's stretched because this one looks smaller and this one looks like it was barely ever touched. There's all the like little sparkly still on it and the little straps here. Those are in better condition and the little thing at the top is all really nice and the little thing in the middle, I don't know who it goes to. These, neither one of these are marked, but they're both uh, exactly the same otherwise. So if they're not the same outfit and I'm just crazy, you can let me know that too. There is this little genuine Barbie, little bikini bottom, no top though, boo. There's this little kind of like wraparound skirt thing. I think this is another one of those that goes to one of those Barbies that has a molded on top. And there's this, which is really nice. It's really soft and the ribbon is really nice. It's knotted together, which I'll have to get apart. I think this goes to maybe a, um, like I said, another, like one of those pink Halloween dolls. I'm not sure. Really nice though. And I love that it's pink. Also this, I think it might be a shoe booty something. I don't know. It's all pink fur. I love that it's pink, but there's only one. Now there's another skateboard, but this one says Mattel. So this is a Barbie one. There's also this purse, super, super cute. Love that. There's also this belt. Love this belt, guys. If you know who this belt goes to, please let me know. And this adorable boom box that's pink. Oh my goodness, I'm so loving this. This was also in the bag. Um, Not really sure what it's for at all. It has, um you know, Barbie on the other side. So if anybody knows what this is, please let me know. Okay, this purse, I believe goes to one of my Mycene girls. I can't remember which one now, but I'm almost positive that that's what this is. There was this one lone little blue glove. Boo hoo, so boo on that. I wish I had the other one. This, <gasps> Moxie girls, look at this guys. And it's pink and I actually have one 17 inch moxie girl that I got at a thrift store for 99 cents forever ago. I think she ended up in a haul right after I started my channel, right at the beginning, but oh my God, love this. Now I just have to find some clothes or make her some clothes. This is really heavy y'all. And if you press really hard, you can get it open, but it's hard to press and get it open. But I'm loving that. Removed everything so that I can show you this $8 bag of accessories. First, before I lay everything out, I'm gonna show you some of the really small stuff. Look at this. This is hilarious. It's Barbie money, y'all. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen and it feels almost like money feels. It has like a texture to it, like money. I love that, oh my God. There's this little basketball 
and this little paper like I think they had you put it together yourself Barbie bag box it's so cute this little tiny belt that I love it says enter I don't know if you guys can see that but right there in the middle it says enter I love that three pairs of sunglasses this pair broke but they broke in such a way where I know that I can glue them back together see they'll be fine so yay for that and this I can hardly believe look at these earrings guys a pair there's this pair there is also this pair like how did these not get lost whoever brought them and then come into a thrift store there is this pair which this pair I'm just like how did these not get lost they are so small guys they are pink and I love them oh my goodness that's why I said they'd get lost there is this pair which kind of looks like that other pair except those were gold and these are silver I can never get that one to turn around to show you guys then there is this pair so cool and if you guys know who these earrings go to please let me know now out of all the earrings there was only two loners there was this hoop and this little one and I mean they might be like on the dolls I didn't check that close and these might be the mates to them so who knows but that's awesome there's these little socks and this little beanie cap that match there is also another pair of pink ones pink loving those I just thought I'd show you those separate before I lay out all of the shoes and accessories there's only this as far there's like three little clothing type pieces this is one of the things now I think this might go to that other stuff that was white with the pink because the ribbon is the same again and it has the little sparkly iridescence just like the lace did and the stitching did on the other things there is this I think it has a tag yeah zap creations on these little like shorts but I believe these would fit Barbie these are so cute and then this little top I believe that is for brats super super cute okay this is all the shoes and everything from that bag there this I believe is the my scene bag that I'm missing to my one girl that rides the scooter the Kenzie um, I showed you these kind of these look like the um, shoes that go to my Noli so cool and this is another pair of my scene shoes don't know who these go to but loving that and then there's this little like trophy two pairs of ballerina shoes all kinds of like there's these this is a little cloth purse there's two crowns and two little visors now this one's like rubbery and gummy I've never seen one like that before I love this little purse back here with the detailing so so cute look at this it even has like a faux bamboo handle love that now there's um two pairs like these tall boots in the back and this I believe these are the genie magic shoes like I said I don't know a lot but I do know some things about brats so there's these also I believe if I am not mistaken these little shoes and these little boots go to my two brats kids this goes to the boy and this goes to the girl that I got in my haul for my birthday so I'm super happy about that there's so many shoes here there's all these heels all these lovely heels and then there's like these little flat Mary Janes and then there's a bunch of tennis shoes and then these kind of like 90s shoes that have the like big chunky heel and the big platforms those are hilarious this purse here this is pretty detailed and pretty nice. These boots, I'm curious if anybody knows about these. These seem awfully big. So if anybody knows who these go to, because there's no B on the bottom and they're so huge. So I just wonder who they go to. This crown was extra nice, really, really pretty. But that, all that stuff I showed you, plus all of this was in that bag for $8. I think I did good. And I've got one more bag to show you guys. So hope you like long videos. Next, we're gonna do this $8 bag. Before we get into all this, there was also this. Now, I think this is supposed to be like a little top, maybe a headband, not sure. There's also this, which is like a little, uh, you know, bag where you put your stuff for the bath for the dolls, <laughs> this little ducky. This is so funny and like this is like a loofah sponge and then there's like another sponge on the inside that cracks me up. There was also this little hat that looks wintry. 
Christmassy, whatever you want to say. There's this that I have no idea what this is. It's rubbery. Maybe it's supposed to be like a rubber pillow. Don't know. There was these two pair of sunglasses. This one's kind of wonky. It looks like it's going to break. And this pair here, I don't know who they would fit being so tiny. This pair looks, you know, kind of cool, like the square. And then there is a bunch of little combs. There's a pink one. Here's a blue one. This little brush. This little brush. It's purple. Also, another little comb. Lots of that stuff going on. These, there's three of them. Too bad there's not four, but there's three little socks. These two match. This one doesn't have a match, but that's pretty cool. Also, this pretty crown. Love that. This little top, which I am almost positive is a Bratz top because of the size of it and the style. Super, super cute. Love that. I think this is Bratz. Like I said, the I think the Rock Angels had the little devil things that said little devil on the shirt and stuff. Nothing in the bag, but it does have Velcro and it does open and it's like um, pleather. See how it says little devil is so cute. <laughs> there is this pretty necklace. It's kind of wonky, but I think, yeah, there we go. I just fixed it before your eyes. <laughs> There's this, which is so small, this little purse here, and it's gummy. It's like a, it's like a gummy bear. So this, which I love for Barbie, and this because it's pink, it's a little pink ladle, and there was one lone little fork with my color on the end. So, so cute, love that. Then there was this little hair clippy. I thought that was cute. I think it's small for kids, but I thought it was cute. Another one of these little paper bags that they have you put together. And there was another one, but this one has something in it. And I didn't look until I wanted to look with you guys. Oh, I think that's like a little uh, Kelly Shelly little dress. That is so cute. It's so small. I love it. Doesn't have a tag, I don't think. Yeah, but it has Velcro. So that is awesome. Now let's get into all these shoes. I know these are my scene. I believe these ones go to my Madison. So I'm super happy about that because it's the same colorway, like styling as her outfit and it's the same skin tone. So I believe that goes to her. I believe these are my scene, but there's no Barbie. I'm not sure. Oh, and there's a shoe inside. <laughs> I pressed pause to get that out. This one lone shoe is down inside that boot. <laughs> That's funny. And these didn't want to stand up, of course, because they're those like Halloween kind, but they're super cute. I love having high boots for the dolls. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single pair. I also believe that this might be the purse for um, the Madison girl as well because it's the same colorway and it's really nice quality. So I think that is my scene. Now these, these are super cool. I don't know if it's Barbie because it just says China on the bottom, but I really like these chunky boots. They look like work boots for Ken. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not gonna go through every single one in detail, but this, I just had to show you. I absolutely love these. These look so much like real shoes to me. I love these. I've seen shoes that look like these, so I absolutely love these. These are like one of my top favorites besides these two, like maybe, I know that's my scene, but that one might not be the little boots. But this pair, look at these two. These had to be made by the same company as those tennis shoes because of the same soft squishy material and they have such detail and they have socks down inside. I mean, look at this. This shoe looks so real, like every detail of a shoe, like the stitching and like the little mark that you get there when you've worn the shoe and it kind of bends. Like, oh my God, I love these so much. And I was so glad that both the little socks because the one sock wasn't down in it, but it was down in the bag. So I was able to mate it back up with its owner. Now these shoes are really, really small. I don't know if these are Barbie shoes. So if you know any doll that these might go to, how small these are, please let me know. They're kind of pretty. I thought this was super cute. It's supposed to be like a box of soap, I think, but I just love little stuff like this for the dolls. Are these Cindy shoes? Because they have the S on the bottom. I wanted to ask since I have them all out and I'm gonna put them away soon after this video is filmed, but I wanted to know that. Like, I wish they made stuff like this still. These are so cute, y'all, and so are these. Look at these. They don't say, yeah, they don't say B on the bottom, but they are really cute. And these, these are adorable, and they're gold. Love, love, love. Love these boots, too. They don't say B either, but I believe they are Barbie. 
So that's all for these. I will count them like when I'm editing and tell you exactly how many are in each bag because I forgot to do the last bag. So I'll just put it on the screen. <laughs> last thing, all the accessories that are in the Kelly bag. That's what I'm gonna show you next. First, there's these little combs and brush, two little mirrors, all these different shapes and sizes of little glasses and sunglasses. Most of them are pink. There are these two little adorable crowns. I love this one. It's so funny. And this one is so shiny. There's these. I don't know if these are headbands or necklaces. And then there's like this little wand thing, but it has this little um, foam thing on the back. So I'm not exactly sure what that's for. <laughs> there's these. I'm not sure if these are bracelets or what. I have no idea, but there's two of them. There's this cute little cardboard thing. I'm not sure what that's for either, but there was this, which I thought was so cool. It's like a Barbie envelope. And then there's like little letters. There's nothing on the inside. I already opened them and there's nothing written on the inside, but they're so cute. I love paper things. There's this lipstick, which kills me. Like it is so small y'all. And then there's this little compact, you know, it's just got a sticker on the inside, but super cute to have these accessories if you do dioramas and pictures. There's this little Christmas hat. There's this little Christmas stocking, which I love, and this bigger Christmas hat. Thought I'd show you all three of those together because they're kind of Christmassy. There's this little like beret hat, and then this one too, so cute with the little palm on top. Love that these are pink. There's this one. I think this must have gone to either a doll that had pigtails or a bear because it has holes. And then there's this. Like, is this not the cutest little newsboy little hat with the little flower and the little decoration thing? I have no idea that is so small. It's a heart, but you know, I have no idea what's on it. There's like a little squiggle or something, but these are so cute. There's these two pairs of white tights and this little pink pair of leggings. There's this that I have no idea what it is. It looks kind of like a hammock. <laughs> I don't know though. It's mesh. See? There's this, which I love, but don't have any idea what it's for. Super cute. Love all the detail on that. Then there's this that is obviously a scarf, but it's so small. I don't know. This looks like a scarf as well. And this, some kind of like a round, you know, like a headband scarf, you know, for to cover your ears, like earmuffs or something. Don't know, but it's cute and it's pink. There's these three little cute fabric purses. I think this black glittery one is my favorite. This is more like a, you know, grocery type bag sack thing, but these are so cute. I love having little stuff to go with the little dolls. There's this little like rubbery skirt. There's this, which could be a skirt or just a wrap. I have no idea. It's not in very good condition. See, it just kind of did that when I was just trying to pull the Velcro apart. And then there's these two that are like little hula skirts. So those are adorable. Also this like micro mini little top. So, so cute. And there's this little white top. So cute. This is so nice. This little detailed jacket. This Tommy that is the little boy doll. This is so cute. It was probably like a wedding set. Adorable. These little shorts, no tag on any of these, or I would have told you there's this kind of little, could be a headband could be a belt for like a Barbie. I don't know. Arm cuff. This one lonely arm cuff. This little like flower crown. And then this crown, which looks, looks like something. My brain says it's something and I can't think of what it is. There was also these two little Madame Alexander um, McDonald's toys. Like I said, I'm torn. I don't, I don't know if I want to keep these or not. So I'm, I'm keeping them for now, but I don't know if I'm going to keep them in the long run. I might just redonate them because I'm not that into them. I don't like all the molded on stuff, even though I think it's cool that they have like the sleep eyes and that they're so detailed and whatnot. I just, I don't know how I feel. So we'll see. Now this there's a few things I know had things down inside. This has a cell phone, which cracks me up. And I wanted to show you because I was like, what's in there? And then I rattled this, if I can get this open without it taking forever. And there's some stuff in here too. Look at this. This key feels like it's actually metal. Um, This is like a little purse. It's so small. Like, look at this. This is even smaller. This is minuscule it's so tiny this lipstick and then this little blow dryer 
they're so small. <laughs> they crack me up, but they were all inside this little like present box. So figured, you know, they can stay in there. They've been safe in there for God only knows how long. And then there's this, it's just a top. I'm assuming that the bottom of the box ended up somewhere. Who knows, but the top is so pretty. It looks almost like a present, like a flatter present on its own. So I'm gonna keep that. There's so many cool things. I can't, I don't wanna, like, I know this is supposed to be a long video. That was the point, but I don't wanna go on forever. These two little like perfume bottles, if you can see them here, they are so cute, so detailed, adorable. Um, I love these two little glasses right here. This one with the little umbrella is so super cute. There's another boom box. It's different, but cool at the same time. This one just says China and some numbers. Love these guys. These are so cool. I'm definitely gonna like do an 80s diorama and these are definitely gonna end up in there <laughs> someday, right? Then there's these. These are like little toys. Um, I think that are supposed to be for the Kelly Shelley dolls. Um, they're not very detailed as in painted. I think these are supposed to be like the little xylophone things, but they look exactly like they're supposed to. They're just all one color and there's two of those. And then um, there's this little basket and I put that ball in there because it was rolling everywhere. Same thing with this. This was rolling everywhere. So I put it in between this little earmuff thing so it wouldn't roll all over the table. <laughs> but these, I wonder if one of these is supposed to go to that little bunny girl that I got the Kelly Shelley. Um, this one, I tried it on the head. This one fit better, so I would say that one, but these are so cute because you guys know I love bunnies. And I think, I don't know, I'm torn between, this is so, so cute being one of my favorite things out of the accessories in here. And then this little, little guy, polar bear with the, and these were in there too. I don't know if they go with him but they're like the same kind of weight and quality. These are snowballs, guys. Are they not the cutest? Oh my God, they're so cute. And then there's another like back here next to it, little paper things that's supposed to be holiday related. So I put that in, it's just so cute. There's just so much stuff. There's little swim flippers, there's purses, there's a teapot with no lid. There's a bunch of little like teacups and little mugs. There's little flat purses here. This looks almost like a Starbucks, that cracks me up, guys, it's so small. There's this, it's like a little windmill. There's a little lollipop. This is another kind of perfume bottle here. And then there's um, this cell phone, that's funny. And then there's a few pairs of little shoes. There's this little black pair, this little pink pair, but they're so small, I don't know what they fit because the Kellys and Shelleys, these definitely don't fit. So, and um, I have no idea. This I thought was hilarious. This is supposed to be like some kind of food. <laughs> and then this, this cell phone is really nice. Look at this. Look at the detail on that, guys. It looks more, you know, like up to date. Those other ones are like flip phones, which cracks me up that those are out of date. <laughs> There's a little camera. There's this little chair. I was not sure about the chair, but I thought I'd keep it. This little raccoon cap thing cracks me up. So cute. And it's, it's really hard, nice. This is adorable. I love these little earmuffs. These are so cute. There's so much cute stuff in here. I just, I love all this stuff. You know, the stop sign. This is supposed to be like a stack of pictures. Like it's all so adorable. You, you can hardly resist. So all this cute stuff, oh, so much stuff guys. So, so much little accessories, for, like laying them out for you guys took forever, but I wanted to do it because you guys wanted it and I just thought it would be awesome. So I hope you enjoy this long video. This is the last bit. There's no more accessories that I haven't shown you from that haul. There are accessories from other hauls, but that'll be for another day. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for being with me and watching. As always, I hope everyone watching is well, happy, and safe, and that all the best things that are in this life that can come to you, I truly do hope they will. I have to say, great big ol' huge subscriber love. You guys really are the best. I don't just say that. Y'all are so sweet to me, and I thank you so much. Our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family is growing by the day. Numbers have gone up again. Loving that. Loving you guys. Thanks for being on this crazy journey with us. There's always more Dolly silliness on the way. If you haven't subscribed yet, you totally should because I do everything in my power to have a great Dolly day and share that with you as much as I can. So come on, join us, see what Dolly silliness we get up to.
All right, that's all for this giant haul of accessories and long video. I am losing my voice, so it is time to go. You know what I'm gonna say. Bye, y'all.